Eric Salama, the CEO of Kanta. We, we can look at two things, and that's the way that we make up the rankings. We look at how strong the brand is in the hearts and the minds of its consumers. So we understand whether or not people are connecting with the brand, are they loyal to a brand, are they buying more and more of that brand. So we, we know the relationship between you and the brand. That's one half of it. And the other half of it is we look at the value of the brand on the stock market and we say, let's take away from that all of the tangible assets. So all of the, the, the plants and the factories and the machinery and, and what's left over is the brand. Because that's, that's in the minds of the stock market, that's the thing that makes up the value of the brand. And if you think about a lot of brands, yes, they've got intellectual property or they've got a factory, but the thing that really makes them stand out and give them a high valuation is the intangible thing, it's the brand. We see uh, companies investing more and more in their brands and we can see that the impact that is having on their brand valuation. And generally speaking, we see that strong brands are the brands that are most successful in terms of their stock market performance. And we're seeing lots of Latin American brands invest in branding, get the rewards from consumers, and also see their valuations on the stock market go up. So we're, we're seeing more and more brands in Latin America and more and more marketing really being at the heart of what a lot of companies are doing in Latin America. And the second thing that we're seeing is that local brands are becoming more and more important, that we're seeing across all of Latin America, and in fact in Asia and other parts of the world, local brands becoming much more important for consumers. So the balance is shifting between multinational brands and local brands, and we're seeing a real renaissance of local brands.